So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem, cake distribution problem. So, Geek is organizing a birthday party, so his friends brought a cake for him. The cake consists of n chunks, whose individual sweetness is represented by sweetness array. Now at the time of the distribution, Geek cuts the cake into k plus 1 pieces to distribute among his k friends. So one piece he took for himself, each piece consists of some consecutive chunks, he is very kind. So he left the piece with the minimum sweetness for him. So you need to find the maximum sweetness that geek can get if we distribute the cake optimally. It's looking a hard question, but I will make this easy. Just understand now. Okay. So now, first thing is we are given a cake having n chunks. Okay. And every chunk has some sweetness. Okay. Now after that, we have to cut the cake into k plus one pieces. Okay, and I want minimum of sum of sweetness to be maximized. So let's understand better with an example. We want k cuts. That means two cuts. So obviously I will be having three pieces. Because let's say I have this line. So if I cut into two, so I will have three pieces. So I can say I have to generate. My main aim is to generate three pieces. Done. Now I can cut here itself, here as well. Or I can cut here as well. Or I can cut many, many times. What is my aim? Let's take the sum of every cut. Take the sum 20. Let's take the sum 9, 10, 12. Now, when I take minimum 9, when I take minimum 5, what I want? I want this minimum to be maximum. What that means to be maximum? I mean, I mean, whenever I take minimum of all, I want to take the maximum of that. That means if I take minimum, it will be 5. But if I take minimum, it will be 9. So I want this minimum to be as maximum possible because this was 5, I will reject it. I will take 9. So if you try many, many possible ways, so you will get 9 only as the answer. So its answer is 9. So now what is a brute force? Brute force is normal recursion. Way. Now at every point, I will try to make a cut. So cut or not cut, obviously. So I have two options. Every point. Cut or not cut now. So every uh, like every point, but I have I have two options. So that means complexity will be exponential because for every point I have two possibilities. Other point I have two possibility. Other point I have two possibility. So if I multiply it will become if I have n indexes two raised to power n. So that means obviously I will not take it. So I have to find just some like optimize method. So let's understand the intuition before going to optimize this method. Let's understand. So, now we are given 633875. I have modified the test case. It's not same as the test case given at GFG. Okay. Now, now let us consider, let's understand intuition. Just th don't think about the question for now. Let's say I take minimum is equals to 6. That I am fixing that I want 6 as minimum in the like pieces. Okay. So, what I will say. How many chunks, how many pieces I can create? My question is, with the minimum is equal to 6, how many pieces I can create? So I can say, if I take this 6, obviously it is greater than is equal to 6. So I can make one piece here. Done. Because I have greater than is equal to 6. My main aim is greater than is equal to 6. Now you can say 3, obviously not greater than is equal to 6. But if I take 3, 3, it will be 6. So again it is greater than is equal to 6. I will make it one cut. Now I come to 8. 8 is greater than is equal to 6. So it is alone sufficient. Just take it because it is greater than is equal to 6. So it is 6. It is 8. Now this is 7. Obviously greater than is equal to 6. Take it. Now I will come to 5. So I will say no. It is not greater than is equal to 6. So it is better to take with 7 only. So I will take this 7 only. So it will become 12. So obviously fine. Because 7 was sufficient but 5 was not sufficient. So instead of just removing the cake. Just eat it now. So now. Now we have 6, 6, 8, 12. The minimum is 6. That I was finding. That for minimum is equal to 6, I have to find the pieces. So I can say at most, at most I can have 4 pieces. Not more than that. Not more than that. Why? Because at 6 I am making the partition. At 3, 3 I am making the partition. At 8 I am quitting the partition. I am, at 7, 5 I am making the partition. That means at the worst to worst case, if the minimum is 6, I'm getting these four pieces. So can I create three pieces using this? Obviously with the minimum is equal to six, I can create three pieces. 
if i group these two obviously it will be greater than is equal to 6 na if or if i take these two if i take any one so obviously this 6 3 3 1 chunk and 8 7 5 so if i group these two any one so all will be greater than is equal to 6 so i can make three pieces i can make two pieces as well if i group these two i can get one piece so the intuition behind this first intuition behind this is like for every uh, like for every cake if i have minimum is equal to 6 and i am getting some pieces four pieces so obviously it can be cut into three pieces two pieces one pieces zero pieces like that if i have 6 5 4 3 2 1 if i can cut into six pieces i can cut into five i can cut into four i can cut into three i can cut into two and i can cut into one this is the intuition now second intuition is second intuition is first intuition is and second intuition is like i am fixing this six that i have to take this minimum this minimum sweetness okay so i can say that means uh, i have to take linear set uh, so till how much i will start from one until how much i will go so obviously if i go to the constraint so let's go to the constraint so i can say i have 10 to the power 5 element i have 10 to the power 5 element and for every element let's say if at the worst to worst case sweetness is 10 to the power 9 so 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 9 plus 10 to the power 9 plus 10 to the power 9 or 10 to the power 5 times if it is repeated it will be 10 to the power 14 so that means i will go to 10 to the power 14 so my sweetness can be here so obviously my complexity will be big of 10 to the power 14 and for checking bigger of n so obviously it will exceed but no i will not going to take linear search so what i will going to take i will going to take binary search why so if i check this 1 to 10 to the power 14 what it is what it is it is actually we are taking minimum what minimum i can take i can take 1 i can take 2 i can take 3 i can take 4 i can take 5 i can take 6 i can take 7 let's say i can take till 16 but i can't take 17 18 by obviously let's say i take this 6 6 3 3 8 7 5 let's take this 6 3 3 8 7 5 so if i can take 6 obviously can i take 5 obviously it will satisfy for 5 as well obviously it will satisfy 4 as well because 6 is greater than is equals to 4 obviously so that means if i'm getting 6 i don't have to check these previous i don't have to check this previous because if 6 can justify that, if 6 is minimum and can do and can give me as many pieces as I required. So that means, that means 5 can also do for me, 4 can also give as many pieces. Because you know basically like 6, 3, 3, 8, 7, 5. So obviously this is greater than is equal to 5, this is greater than is equal to 5, this is greater than is equal to 5. This is also greater than is equal to 5. So since they are greater than is equal to 6, they are greater than is equal to 5. They are greater than is equal to 4, they are greater than is equal to 3, they are greater than is equal to 2, and they are greater than is equal to 1. So obviously that means I don't have to take these. So we can understand that here binary search is only applicable because, because for some range it's applicable. Let's say for 6, 7, 8, 9, for 16 till possible. But let us 17, 18, if 17 is not possible. So obviously 18, 19, how it can be possible? If smaller uh, pieces of minimum size can't be made so how 18 can be made if 17 can't be made how 18 can be made this is the intuition okay that's why i'm applying the binary search so let's apply the binary search to better understand it okay now initially start is equals to 1 and end is equals to 10 is square 14 but for making this uh, dry run less complex let me take the sum of all elements correctly 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 because obviously this will also going to work. 9 plus 2, 11. 11 plus 8, uh, like 12. This is 11 plus 20. That is 31. So I am taking only this range. Some of these elements. Okay. Now let's try to write. Now what we do? Mid is equals to start plus n by 2. So mid will be 1 plus 31 by 2. It will be 16. So I will say, can I make 16, 16 some pieces? Or greater than is equal to 16 some pieces if i have k is equal to 2 that means i want three pieces because i have two cuts so obviously three pieces two cuts three pieces now let's see six three two eight seven five six no three no nine no eleven no nineteen yes 
take this. It is 16 greater than is equal to 19 is obviously greater than is equal to 9. One piece. 7, no. 5, no. So obviously, I have only one piece, which is giving me 16. And I want three piece. Obviously, it will not justify the condition. So obviously, if 16 can't justify the condition, how 17, 18, 19, 20 till 31 can satisfy the condition? That means my range is reduced to and is equals to mid minus 1 and will become 15. Now 1 plus 15 by 2 is equals to obviously 8. Let's check for 8. 6, 3, 2, 8, 7, 5. So now you can see 6 plus 3, 9 done. 2 plus 8 done because 2 was not alone can make this sufficient. 7 plus 5 done. Now after that I can see 3 pieces. I am done with 3 pieces. So if 8 can do for me, obviously 9 can do for me, 10 can do for me, 11 can do for me. This I can say. Okay. So, so, if, so if 8 can do for me, obviously 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all can do for me. So that means, that means that redundant range that I don't need to check will be reduced to mid plus 1. That is 9. Obviously, and end will be 15. Now I will say 9 plus 15 by 2. It will be equal to uh, 24 by 2. It will be 12. Let's check for 12. So this range, then this range, obviously this will not able to make the piece. So I will say just my reduce range. So because, because if 12 can't justify this, then 13, 14, 15, how they can justify. So my range, my range will reduce to start is equal to 9 and end is equal to 12 minus 1. That is 11. Now 9 plus 11 by 2 is 10. I will check for 10. So 6, 3, 2, 8, 7, 5. 6, 3, no. 6, 3, 2, yes. 8, 7, yes. 5, but 10 can't justify because I want 3 pieces. I am able to make 2 successful pieces. So that means start will be now 9, but end will be 10 minus 1, 9. Now I will check for 9 as well. 9 plus 9 by 2, 9. So I will say check for 9, 9, 9 and 9. So 9 is possible. So answer will be 9 only. So let's check whether 9 was the answer. Yes. Yes. So that is the binary search. Make this everything in logarithm of n. So that means this binary search in logarithm of n. And for checking big of n. So this will become big of n log n. Obviously 10 raised to power 5 can justify this. So time complex will be big of n log n. And if you're talking about space complexity, big of it because I'm not taking any extra array. So let's uh, try to code up the approach. Now, for binary search, what we do? First thing, because my sum can go till 10 to the power 14, int can't do this. So I will I will create a hash defined LL long long int as usual I do. Now after that, I will say LL start is equal to 1. Obviously, at minimum 1. And end is equal to because at minimum sweetness is 1. End is equal to uh, for general, instead of calculating the sum, take the general one, 1e14, one 10 to the power 14, obviously. So I have, let's say, answer is equal to minus 1 currently. So I will start for, while start is less than is equal to end, I will take mid, start plus end by 2. So I will check for mid. I will check for mid. If mid is able to justify the condition, I will pass all these things, sweetness, array, n, k, yes. If they are able to justify the condition, that means my possible answer is mid. And I will say, I don't need to check this previous range because if 7 can justify, 6 can also justify, 5 can also justify, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I can say that obviously start will become mid plus 1. Okay. Now else, end is equals to mid minus 1 obviously because add range, let's say 12 can't justify, so 13, 14, 15, how they can justify. So, add then I will go to return answer. Now, main for main question is to write check function. So, I will create a check function. I will pass LL mid vector int. Let's say make this as ARR, N, and K. Now, what I'm going to do, we have initially sum is equal to 0, count is equal to 0. I want that count should be greater than is equal to K. That is number of pieces that I can make. What is my aim? Aim is number of pieces should be greater than or equal to k. So what how I will do? I will traverse the array obviously. Okay. And whenever I find what I will do, 
sum plus is equals to area of i. And if at any point I find sum is greater than is equals to mid, whatever minimum I want. So if I found this, so what I will say, count plus plus and reset the sum to zero because it can be used for next group. Okay, next piece. And uh, now what I need to check that my count, that is number of pieces that I able to make because K was number of cuts. What will be the number of piece? Because if I, let's say this is this. Now if I made cut here and if I made cut here, so I will be, I will be having three pieces. So I will say if count is greater than is equals to, that is number of pieces that I found is greater than is equals to current pieces. If it is, let's return true. Otherwise return false. Now one more thing. This should be LN because obviously bunny 14 comes in long, long range, not in int range. Let's try to compare in the code and check whether it's working fine. Okay. So let's submit the code. Let's see whether our test cases are passing. Yes. So it's totally working fine. So this was all about code. If you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do comment if you like my explanation. So thank you and have a nice day. Thank you.